ABC 17 News at 9 on Fox 22 KQFX starts now. Right now, a Cole County man is in jail for allegedly shooting and killing his girlfriend on accident. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lucas Geisler. And I'm Marissa Holloway. We told you earlier today that 23-year-old Joshua Wilbers faces involuntary manslaughter and armed criminal action charges. ABC 17's Marina Diaz is joining us live in studio. Uh, Hallie Phillips was shot and she died Sunday night. Marina, you spoke with a Columbia-based lawyer who told you that these charges could potentially change. Yeah, Marissa Lucas, 20-year-old Hallie Phillips lost her life following an alleged accidental shooting. I spoke with Columbia-based lawyer Bill Tackett, who walked me through what involuntary manslaughter change charges could mean and why he thinks there could be a case made to upgrade these charges. Involuntary manslaughter has at its base that you recklessly cause the death of another. Prosecutors today charged 23-year-old Joshua Wilbers with involuntary manslaughter and armed criminal action after he claims his 22 caliber rifle accidentally went off, killing his 20-year-old girlfriend, Hallie Phillips. Wilbers allegedly told deputies that he removed the magazine from the bolt action gun and cycled the bolt back at least two times, making sure there was not a shell in the chamber. According to Wilbers, he then looked down at the firearm and pulled the trigger, hitting Phillips in the face about six feet away. Bill Tackett is a former prosecutor, and he says there's more investigation to be done on this case. There could be facts that come to light if they had difficulty in their relationship um, or some motive comes up because you have a gun going off uh, six feet away approximately from her head. And while that can happen accidentally, um, it, it does cause pause. And it's something you'd want to make absolutely sure or maybe run it through a grand jury to see if murder in the second degree wouldn't be applicable. Involuntary manslaughter is a Class C felony, while second degree murder is a Class A felony. Tackett says this case could potentially go to a grand jury. That's up to the prosecuting attorney. And um, in this case, uh, he would present the facts to a, a grand jury. Right now, as it stands, uh, they've made the decision and the evidence seems to lead that direction. But this is one of those cases where more can come out later. According to court documents, Wilbers attempted to take Phillips to the hospital in his own car before deciding he should call 911 instead. Marissa Lucas Phillips was a student at the University of Missouri studying for a Bachelor of Science in Animal Sciences. Wilbers is currently being held without bond. All right, Marina, thank you very much for that. Wilbers doesn't have an attorney listed yet, so we haven't been able to ask for his side of things. We will, of course, be sure to do that as soon as we get that information.